Christian practices. A is for agape. This is the selfless love and is the type of love Christians are expected to show for everyone. It should inform their worldview. B is for baptism. This is a sacrament through which people become members of the church. It involves the use of water as a symbol to wash away sin and it is a rite of initiation. Infant baptism is where children are baptized and promises are made on their behalf. And believer's baptism is where a believer is old enough to make a choice for themselves. C is for Christian aid, CAFOD and the church. The first two are Christian charities that provide emergency long-term aid to the developing world and the church is the people of God. It is the members of a particular denomination and the physical building itself. D is for different and diverse. There are many different and diverse Christian churches that practice and believe slightly different things, but all are generally united in the belief that Jesus Christ is their Lord and Saviour. E is for Easter. This is the religious season celebrating the resurrection of Jesus from the dead. It starts on Easter day and finishes with the Feast of Pentecost. F is for food banks. Christian churches and charities collect donated food to distribute to the poor in Britain. G is for the Great Commission. In Christianity, the Great Commission is the instruction of the resurrected Jesus Christ to his disciples to spread his teaching to all the nations of the world. H is for Holy Communion, another name for the Eucharist in which the sacrificial death and resurrection of Jesus are celebrated using bread and wine. I is for Iona, an island on the west coast of Scotland founded by Columba in the 4th century. It is used as a centre for pilgrimage and religious retreat. J is for Jesus said, love your neighbour with all your heart, <laughs> love your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and love your neighbour as yourself. Learn a teaching. My phone's going mental. K is for knowing, knowing how beliefs inform practice. Like the last quote, love your neighbour. This belief is what Christ said should inform the way in which Christians act in the world. L is for Lords and the Lord's Prayer. The first is a town in France where the Virgin Mary appeared to Bernadette in a series of visions and now a place of pilgrimage. It is claimed that you can go there and miraculous hearings will take place. The Lord's Prayer is the prayer Jesus taught to his disciples and it's also known as the Our Father. M is for mission, literally sent out. It refers to the duty of Christians to spread the gospel, the good news about Jesus. N is for nations, Christ for all nations, an organisation founded in 1975 to spread the word of God. O is for Oasis, a UK-based Christian charity dedicated to helping the community in tackling social injustice. P is for persecution. Throughout the centuries and still in some parts of the world, Christians face punishment and even death for being Christians. Q is for quotes and Quakers. Learn one or two relevant quotes that you can refer to in your exams. Quakers are a group of Christians who are pacifists and due to their beliefs, refuse to be involved in armed conflict. Rather, they work for reconciliation. R is for reconciliation. Reconciliation is the restoration of friendly relationships, particularly after conflict. It is also a Catholic sacrament in which believers are forgiven and reconciled with the community of the church. S is for street pastors. These are trained volunteers from local churches who go out into the community, usually in little teams between 10 and 4 a.m. on a Friday and Saturday night. Uh, T is for Trestle Trust and Tear Fund. A Trestle Trust is a charity aimed at eliminating hunger through the development of food banks and other programs in the UK. And Tear Fund is a Christian charity dedicated to ending poverty. U is for understanding prayer. Communicating with God through words of praise, thanksgiving or confession or requests for his help or guidance. Listening to and speaking to God. This can be private or public, informal or formal. V is for visible sacraments. The outward and visible sign of an invisible and spiritual grace is what a sacrament is. Baptism and the Eucharist are recognised as sacraments by most Christians. W is for worship, offering to God the praise that he is due. This may be done in public or in private. X, Y, Z is to explain your point and make a judgment. Always make sure you explain your points in four mark, five mark and 12 mark questions and good luck.